Welcome back. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to fold the droid tri-fighter from the book Star Wars Origami by Chris Alexander. Uh, in this lesson, you're going to need to fold a triangle, an equilateral triangle. If you're starting with the paper from the book, uh, you can just cut it out because it's already designed as a triangle, but if you're starting anywhere else in the world, you can take an A4 piece of paper to get started. Take the outside right hand edge and fold it over to the left hand edge. Now this should be uh, lengthwise, mind you, so you've got the long piece of paper from the top to the bottom way down here. Then open that up and you've got to fold down the center of your paper. Now, usually to take a square, we would take this top edge and fold it all the way to the outside left edge. But instead, we're going to take this corner and we're going to fold the um, right-hand corner to the center of the page until we get a crease or a valley fold for starting at this outside tip right here. So align the crease with this outside tip, adjust this piece of paper so that this corner is along the crease that we just made and then crease that paper along that diagonal and you'll come out with a crease looking something like that. Then take this outside right hand edge and fold it so that it meets this piece of paper that we already creased. And line those two edges up nicely. Once those edges are lined up nicely, uh, again, crease that valley fold and you'll end up with something that looks like this. Now, if you open it, rotate it, you'll see that you have an equilateral triangle. Okay, Take that equilateral triangle and cut the paper right along the valley fold creases that you've got. Now, you'll have a valley fold kind of right through the center of your equilateral triangle. Just ignore that for the moment. Uh, it won't, it won't damage the model at all. It won't come in to haunt you later or anything. It just looks a little weird at the moment. But later on you won't even notice that it's there. So finish off your equilateral triangle like so. Now we have our equilateral triangle. Okay, now to get started we're going to make some valley folds. We're going to take this bottom edge and fold it to the left hand side. And this is going to give us a valley fold from the corner to the base that's over here, the other side, the opposite side of our model. And we'll get one line going through the center of the paper. Now take this bottom part and fold it to the right hand side. And this will give us another line bisecting our equilateral triangle through the center but from the other corner of the bottom. Uh, the bottom right hand corner instead of the bottom left hand corner. Okay, crease those with your bone folder so they're nice and solid. And now we need to get this line here. So we're going to fold the right hand edge over to the left hand edge. And line it up very well. And now we have the final line like that. Okay, now we have um, three lines bisecting the center point of this triangle. Now if we take these two edges down like this, we'll have this leftover flap here and we can just flap that over to the right. So we have three triangle or three points. Okay, now we're going to take the uh, one that's standing up. We're going to take the outside edge of it and fold it along the center line. Like so. Unfold that. Bring the flap up. Separate it. And squash fold it. Now we're going to take that uh, diamond like shape here and we're going to petal fold it. So bring this outside edge towards the center line like so. Don't go over the center line. Okay, like that. Bring this outside edge here in towards the center. Again, don't go over that center line. Oops. 
Yep. Crease it well. Now unfold those two flaps. Lift that flap up and pedal fold it towards the top like this. And what you'll do is you'll reverse these creases here and reverse this crease on this side like so. And then as you lay that down, make sure the uh, edge of paper lines right up with the center. Like so. Okay, and once you have that folded down, should look like that. Then fold this piece downward like so and do that two more times. Once with this point and once with this point. So I'm going to kind of flip my model over. Take this corner here, valley fold it down along the center line, like so. Lift that open and up, separate that corner, and squash fold it down. It should line up with your other piece. Okay, now take this outside edge fold it towards the center take this outside edge and fold it towards the center unfold those two flaps lift it, pedal fold it towards the top reverse these outside edges here this outside edge on the left side and then as you lay that flap down or towards the top crease those nicely along the center like so then take this and fold it back down now in order to do the last one I'm going to take this flap fold it over towards the right hand side and now I'm working from the left, take this outside edge, fold it towards the center, line it up with the center line, crease it well, lift that flap open and up, separate it, and squash fold that main crease down towards the center. Okay, then we're going to pedal fold this flap of paper, so take this outside edge here on the bottom, Fold it in towards the center. This flap here in towards the center. Lift these two flaps open. Take this top flap and pedal fold it upwards. Okay, and then take these corners here valley fold, valley fold, and then lay this flap down, and lay this flap down, and then take this flap and fold it down one more time. Now, we have our three points here now that will turn into the arms of our tri-fighter later. But uh, before we get that done, we'll have to take this flap and lift it back over to the left so you have this like little inside flap okay lift this little inside flap upwards and this will give you the distance for which you need to fold this corner take this corner the top corner or point and fold it down so that it meets up with that other point now take this point here at the top and we're gonna sink fold that in so I'm gonna actually separate my model and to sink fold that in, I'm going to recrease by just pinching each edge with my fingers. I'm just going to reset those creases so that they are um, mountain folds. And after I go all the way around the circle here and mountain fold each of those creases. Um, it will be easier to put them in towards the sink fold. So now that I've got those creases turned into mountains, I'm just going to gently press them in towards the center 
and use my bone folder to help the crease go down like so. And your sink fold should look something like that when you're done. Okay? Now that you've got that finished, uh, lay your model back down with the sink fold up and you're going to make sure that you can see these little inside flaps here. We need to sink fold these three inside flaps towards the inside of the model. So valley fold it up first like that to pre-crease it and then gently open up that side of the model and tuck it inside so that you're reversing that valley fold into a mountain fold and that little flap goes inside as a sink fold and it'll look something like that when you're finished. Okay, now do that two more times. Um, find the other ones, so I'm going to fold this up and this up one more time to find that inside little flap. I'm going to valley fold it, unfold it, open that flap up, and tuck that little corner inside, and sink fold it inside there, just like that. And then the other one is sitting right um, in the back, so I'm actually going to take these two flaps, pretend I fold those flaps over, and find the other one. Valley fold it up to prepare it. Open this flap up once and twice, and then sink fold inside like this. So that now I have those three little flaps sink folded inside of my model. And now I have these three flaps that are separated here. Once you've got those three flaps that are separated, we are going to take um, not this side that we've sunk fold inside, but you're going to flap this down so you have the flat side, okay, with no crease. And you're going to take this corner piece here. Let me just see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Okay, then you're going to take this corner piece here and you're going to fold it in towards the center, like so, so that this, there's a line right here that you'll see from all the folding, it should lay parallel along that line. Increase it, do the same, top fold here, folding it down like so, and this is going to create the like arm pieces here of our model. Okay. Once you have that done, you're going to take this sink folded area and you're going to take the top edge of it and fold it in towards the center. Like that. Okay. And then take this other edge, fold it in towards the center, kind of rounding that fuselage area out. So it should look like that. Then take this flap and fold it down. The result should be like this shape and then the arm should be thin like that piece. Okay, now I'm going to take this top edge, fold it down, and I'm going to do the same procedure. This corner goes in towards the center. This corner comes in towards the center so it's symmetrical. Crease those two well with my bone folder. Crease this corner in towards the center. Crease this corner in towards the center. And then fold this, cor this flap at the bottom back up to close that side. Now we've got two of the legs thinned out and ready to go. I'm going to take this bottom leg, the first one we did, and fold it up, and fold the second one we did back so that those two are on the bottom, and this last one here is at the top. Okay, I'm going to fold it open so we've got the flat edge open. Take this corner and fold it in towards the center. Take the top edge and fold it in towards the center. Okay, 
crease them with my bone folder so they're nice and solid. Take this outside edge of the top and fold it in towards the center. Take this outside edge at the top and fold it in towards the center so that it's like that. And take these two pieces and valley fold like so. Now we have the bullet like shape here at the front and we have three uh, legs at the back. Okay, now it's time to take these legs and turn them into the tri-fighter look that looks like that kind of inside and outside reverse folded. So there's two at the bottom and one at the top. Let's take the one at the top and start with that. We're going to valley fold it so the center line of it is going to go right along and meet the corner of this uh, folded piece here. So it's going to look something like that. And there'll be a, just a little bit of space from this fold out to there. Okay, and it should look something like that. Then take that leg and inside reverse fold it along those creases. So it'll look something like that when you're done. Now you've got this little flap of paper here. Crease the next one so that this piece is valley folding down so that it's almost matching the front angle here. And there's just a little gap of space between those two. But the fold is starting at the end of this crease here. Then take that piece of paper, open it up, outside reverse fold it around so it will look like that when you're done. Then take this tip and valley fold it back to meet this corner just to find the halfway point. Once you've found that halfway point, take this outside edge in the front and line it up with, the out, with that halfway point so it's going to look like this. And it should overlap the front fuselage just a bit so that it can tuck inside of that fuselage right there like so okay then what you're going to do is take that little tip and open it up and inside reverse fold it like so and then that should stick right inside of the model like that okay Then do the same thing on the other two flaps. So I'm going to uh, take this one and just flap it downward. So we have, again, the leg part at the top. Follow the same procedure, valley folding it up. Crease it well. Inside reverse fold it. Now take this tip and valley fold it down so the crease starts here and the edge lines up with the angle of the front of the fuselage here. Take this tip, fold it back so that there's a marked halfway crease like that. Then take this outside edge and fold it along the outside or, or along that halfway crease so then inside reverse fold that or rather unfold it then uh, inside reverse fold oops I'm sorry forgot to outside or fold this whole flap here so let's back up two steps outside reverse fold that crease and then inside reverse fold this one that we already did okay and that should fit inside of the fuselage like that Okay, and then we have one more, which is this flap here. I'm just going to take this whole flap, flap it upward so it matches what we've already done. Take this area here, valley fold it upwards so that it matches what you've already got. Inside reverse fold that. Take 
take this tip valley fold it downwards so that the crease starts there and matches the angle of the front of the fuselage unfold that outside reverse fold it this corner valley fold it backwards so that you can find the halfway line then take the outside edge here and fold it so it matches that halfway line like so and it should overlap the fuselage then unfold that and inside reverse fold it that so that it fits inside of the model. Now you've got the three pieces like that and there's the droid TIE fighter from the with the paper of the book and there's the droid TIE fighter with just the simple white paper. So um, that is how you fold the origami TRI fighter from the book Star Wars Origami by Chris Alexander.